Hey everyone, this is Learn Music with Chris. I'm Chris, and in today's video, it's all about the <coughs> clef, bass, bass clef. Yeah. Um, we'll be looking at the layout of the notes on the bass clef, and also looking at some mnemonics, phrases, that will help us memorize those notes as well. So if that's something you're interested in, let's bounce in. So just like in the treble clef, the bass clef is still written on a stave. If you don't know what a stave is, then maybe go and check out my video on the treble clef, which you should see a link to in the corner now. The bass clef is common for those learning uh, instruments with lower sounding notes. So instruments like the cello, euphonium, trombone, the bass guitar, and then for the piano players, this is the clef you'd be using for your left hand as well. So let's look at the notes. We'll be using the piano again, as I find it very useful to know the position of notes using a piano, even if you're not learning it. As notes work down a stave as their pitch lowers, you'll find that middle C now sits above the stave. It still has its line going through it, almost like a mirror image of the treble clef. And as we'll be lowering the pitch, we'll end up working through the alphabet backwards, which will be a bit confusing to begin with, but after a while, you'll be great at being able to say the first seven letters in the alphabet backwards. So if we start, we've got middle C to begin with, above the stave. Then we'll go down to B, then A for the top line of the stave. And then we'll gradually work back up to G, then F, E, D, C, B, A, and then G on the bottom line. Notes do go below. Now the bottom line of the bass clef as well, all relative to how low a note your instrument can play. Piano can obviously go quite a bit lower than this, other instruments might not be able to go too much below it. But for this video we're just looking mainly at the notes that sit on the lines or in the spaces. So exactly the same as the treble clef, we have a couple of mnemonics or phrases that can help us learn the positions and what notes are on what lines and spaces. So if we look at the lines to begin with, we go back down to that low G, then we've got B, D, F, and an A. So the one I tend to use nowadays is Girls by Donuts from Asda. For any Americans watching, uh, Asda is the uh, British equivalent of Walmart. <laughs> but W is not used in uh, music, so you'll just need to stick with Asda. For the spaces, we have A, C, E, and G which is probably the most common phrase used for that, is all cows eat grass. So you can kind of look at both phrases are related with eating, if you want. Easy way of trying to remember which phrases are used in which clefs. You might have heard other phrases. It doesn't really matter what you do. You can make up your own, as long as the letters make sense. If you've come up with any, then leave, leave a comment below and let me see them. And that's it for the bass clef. If you want to watch my video on the treble clef, then I'll leave a link to that in the description below and it should pop up on the screen in front of me shortly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with all my videos, then please consider subscribing to my channel. With that, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, keep practicing.